Guys, you have got to come and check this out. It's literally been out there for 10 minutes. This is just those ideal conditions for potty mulleting. There's some really big ones. This trap, I can see it from here. It's only 10 meters away from me. It is chuck a block. Let's go have a look. That is a little beauty. That's got 90 centimeter flatty all over it. We've had a lot of people asking us to do a video on catching potty mullet around the lake's entrance area or lake tires. This is no secret we are. We're in the Cunningham Arm. This is like the main road, if we just swivel around there, the main road is right there. You've got all the motels across the road. We're just staying across the road. We're walking out here and we want to get ourselves some live mullet. So just in the shallows here, there's plenty of mullet around. So we're going to grab our trap. We're going to load it up and we're going to stick it out there. I'm pretty sure we can get some. I've seen some really good size. Just walking around in the shallows, that's what you want to see. You want to see those mullet skittering around. And um, I reckon we can have a really good, uh, get a good haul today. It's just those perfect conditions today. So this is what we talk about. People ask us, you know, what, what conditions. High tide's great because the mullet are up on the flats. Uh, we've got light winds, we've got sunshine. We often say go in the morning, but this is actually the afternoon. We're just gonna walk into the shallows here. And we'll see the mullet. There's heaps of them here today. Really good. So it's a high tide and they've come in on, they come in on these banks. And that's what we're after. So we'll lay that trap out and we'll go have a look. Guys, you have got to come and check this out. It's literally been out there for 10 minutes. This is just those ideal conditions for potty mulleting. There's some really big ones. This trap, I can see it from here. It's only 10 meters away from me. It is chuck a block. Come, let's go have a look. There's sometimes when there's too, too many mullet in your trap and that's too many. Uh, I think it's working. That, that's too many. You can't keep that many anyway, but look at these. There's literally handfuls, look at that. Man. I'm just gonna get a few more of these out. This is just ridiculous. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna empty this trap and then I'm gonna load it up again in. <laughs> Have a look at this. I just can't keep pulling them out. There's so many. Look at those baits. Oh, look at that one. Man. That is a little beauty. That's got 90 centimetre flatty all over it. So we're gonna load her up again and I'm gonna show you from scratch. So we're gonna put a bit of the Reel It In Deluxe Mullet Mix in. Decent amount. And when we push that into the water, that's gonna create a burly as it comes out as well. So now I'm looking for the water to sit about the same depth of the trap over the top. So that's where I'm gonna put it. So let's go into the water. So many mullet around. So I'm going to push it down here now. Just watch as this goes down. As this goes down, we're just going to... Oh, we don't want that weed in there. Pull that weed out. See, now we get, we're creating that bit of burly now. We'll close the lid. As regulation, just get that bit of air out. Out the corners there, those little bleed holes will get that bit of air out. Push a bit out for a bit of burly, close that lid. All right, we're gonna leave that for about 10 minutes. I've still got a bit of air in there actually. Just pop that out. Beautiful. I'm standing about 10 meters away, probably a little bit close, but obviously as I walked in there, I've spooked them all the way. But now that little bit of burly that's created is coming out and they all, you can see them starting to hover around. I probably can't pick it up on the camera, but I can see it with me. Polarized sunnies, metonics, and yeah, they're hovering around it and then they'll do that for a couple of minutes and then one of them will go in there and once one goes in it starts flicking more burly out and it's like follow the leader that trap before was like chock a block like too full way too many i'm just sneaking back in they're all over it i'm not sure if there's any in yet 
but you can see the commotion at the top of the trap there. I reckon there could be one or two actually inside it now, so it's just a matter of now. Staying back, and she'll be full in about five minutes now. I've had it out there for probably, I don't know, less than 10 minutes now, but I need to wrap this up because my phone battery is going to go flat. We'll go get the trap. So this is the second lot we've done now. Pretty sure there's some in it. I don't know if it's as full as it was before, but really it was so full before that they'd actually, they'd actually start dying in there because they just know not enough water and oxygen. But actually, yeah, no, there's quite a few. It's good. Get down the Cunningham arm any one of these arms really, all you need to see is these shallows and just need, just put a bit more water in it. You just need these shallows, that's why I like the high tide because the mullet are up on the shallows and there's quite a few in there, there's good sizes as well. So be versatile, if you're struggling on the lures, get yourself some liveys. Just the perfect bait. Adios.